Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to Exploring Women Artists. My name is Maritza and today we will be discussing and learning about Jenny Morgan. Um, Jenny Morgan is an artist who now lives and her work is based in Brooklyn, New York. Um, and she immediately um, caught my attention because of the way that she contrasts um, really realistic portraits um, with abstract colors within her portraits. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple of examples of her her um, paintings. Um, she does paintings and um, she likes to do portraits from shoulders up mostly um, of herself or of her friends. Um, she says that she needs to have a close relationship with the subject um, to really create her work and, and perfect her style. Um, and so she creates these really realistic um, portraits that could look like they could be a photograph, but then she uses um, different colors that you don't see um, on anyone, like bright red, and she uses it to fade into a green. Um, with um, her colors to shade them in so that um, and they create this this nice style that's very unique to Jenny Morgan herself. Um, here are a couple of examples. So as you can see this is a painting not a photograph of this woman's face. It's very realistic like if you look at her lips and her nose and and, and her hand it's all very realistic but her, her hair is bright red and has no shadows and her face is half blue and then it fades into red and then down her arm it fades into yellow um, which is an effect called ombre it shades from one color to the next um, pretty flawlessly as you can see down here it's not um, a really direct um, color switch like red and blue. There's no shading in between this red and blue. There's very, there's a sharp line where you see where the color ends, but with ombre and with shading, you don't see that kind of sharp line. It's a gradual um, change from red to pinkish to orangish to yellow. Um, and on the back here are a few more examples. Um, so another cool thing about Jenny Morgan's portraits are that her subjects look right at you. They maintain eye contact the entire time, um, which um, sort of automatically creates a bond between the painting and the audience. Um, and they're sort of haunting, um, personally. I was immediately drawn to her paintings because of the expressions and, and the realism of her paintings. So as you can see, here's one here and down here. The handout for today is inspired by this painting right here. Um, but again, as you can see, they're very realistic paintings. She likes to um, paint from the shoulder up and use splashes of abstract color in her very realistic painting. So as you can see, her hand, the fingertips, they're sort of red and then they gradually go out into the colors of the rainbow and then the rest of her is gray. And down here, you know, as you can see, it starts from blue, goes down to green, yellow, red. Um, and again, the painting is really realistic. So I thought um, her paintings were really cool. And so for today's project, inspired by Jenny Morgan, um, McKenna made a handout of an outline of one of her paintings. And I thought it would be fun to create your own ombre um, version of one of Jenny Morgan's paintings. So this is the handout um, and this is the example that I made. So I decided to use red, uh, pink up here, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, dark blue, and purple to shade in the face, um, which I thought was really fun and I think it looks pretty cool and then I colored in her hair gray and left the background white. Um, because a lot of her backgrounds are solid um, but feel free to add anything in the background um, as you like but since Jenny Morgan is so good at using ombre within her paintings um, or the gradual shading from one color to the next um, I encourage everyone to use that 
um, on their own handouts. I suggest that you use color pencils or crayons because markers create really um, strong lines and they're hard to blend. Um, so color pencils and crayons are recommended. Um, and try your best to shade um, flawlessly or as flawlessly as you can from one color to the next like Jenny Morgan does. Um, I have a couple of tips for that. I would say start with one color um, and the harder you press the darker the color is going to show up on your page. So um, when you press really hard you want it to um, be really obvious and bold and and then you can um, slowly release pressure from the crayon or the color pencil and um, shade into lighter and then you can use a different color and overlap as much as you can um, and that will help you create this um, gradual effect and um, use this with as many colors as you like um, you can do it on her face like I did you can do it in her hair um, you can do it as you saw in one of her paintings she um, uses the the ombre on the subject's hands and not at all on her face or the rest of her body um, this handout does not have a hand but um, be creative and ombre whatever you like and um, if you want to practice um, somewhere else with the ombre before you do it on the handout, that's awesome. I practiced on a blank piece of paper before I um, used it on my handout because I wanted to make sure I got the hang of it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this project. I hope you guys share your final products with me. Um, you can use hashtag loveartsphereinc on Instagram, Twitter, and um, our blog uh, will have written instructions um, and my example and the link to the handout. I will also link the handout in the description of this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you tell your friends and family about Jenny Morgan. She is really cool and um, you can look up more of her art on Google. Um, and tune in next Wednesday for the next women artists class. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in and have a good weekend.